Hi guys, today I will show you how to set up and then use the Active Track 4.0 and the APS 4.0 function on the DJI Air 2S. We will start with the unboxing first and then go through the setup process step by step. But if you are an advanced user and want to skip to the part that is important to you, then please click on the timestamps in the description below. After the unboxing, the first thing that we need to do is to charge the batteries of the drone and the controller. The batteries of the DJI Air 2S can be only charged via the cable it came with, so let's start that process first. Then let's insert the memory card and make sure that we install the propellers on the drone just like as advised on the plastic covers. And later when the charging is complete, let's prepare the drone for its maiden flight. To do that, we need to connect our phone to the controller and then open up the DJI Fly app and download all the latest firmware updates. And now we are ready. We will check out the new Active Track 4.0 feature first. After takeoff, make sure that your controller is set to normal settings, otherwise this feature will not work properly. And then take the drone to an elevation that you like and then fix the camera angle. After that, draw a box around the object that you're trying to track. As you can see, it gives you two options and we are going to select trace here. But I forgot to hit the go button after selecting trace, so the Active Track option gets unselected which I don't realize just as yet. But the cool thing that I want to show you is that the drone has already recognized that it is tracking a car and it shows that by the icon below. Now the drone is in spotlight mode so it tracks the car by staying at the same position. But that is not what I wanted to show you here. So I pull the drone closer from inside the car and then select active track and trace again. But this time I make sure that I hit the go button as well. And you can see that the menu has changed as well. So now we are good to go. Let's see how well it can track my car. Now let me show you how to use Active Track 4.0 on a moving person. The process is the same as before, all you gotta do is draw a box around your subject and then select Active Track and then Trace and then Go. But this time the Active Track did not work because the altitude was too low. So the Air 2S returned to the spotlight mode and did not follow me. Again, I was not giving too much attention to what was on the screen before walking off, but as soon as I realized what was going on, I raised the drone a little bit more and then did the whole process again. Also make sure that you get the small person icon under the green box which just means that the Air 2S has detected a person. Now all this is happening with the full settings of the DJI drone, I have not touched anything at all, this is what you get out of the box. You can already see that the obstacle avoidance system is working, I'm trying to dodge the drone as best as I can but it sticks to me pretty good and it can follow all my movement while navigating through obstacles very well as well. This is pretty incredible stuff, I am super impressed, just take a look for yourself. Now let me show you the new and improved Advanced Pilot Assistant System or APS 4.0. You can turn it on on the main screen or you can go into safety settings and select bypass. With this mode enabled, the aircraft can fly at high speed while dodging obstacles if it can or it will just hover if it can't go anywhere else. I'm just flying straight and doing nothing else but it manages to detect and avoid all the obstacles. So that's all from me today, if you enjoyed watching this video then please like, share and subscribe. This is Nafi signing off till next week, peace!